The 1993 new car model year is in full swing, and it's time for our annual look at what's new from Detroit's big three automakers. First stop is the world's biggest car company, General Motors. GM has had its share of rough times in recent years, but it's bounced back with impressive new products. Last year, GM won more categories in our annual Driver's Choice Awards than any other company. And in 1993, they look stronger than ever. General Motors' biggest news for 1993 surrounds its biggest car. The traditional rear-wheel drive Cadillac has been transformed. While still a land yacht for Cadillac's most conservative buyers, it now bristles with the latest in electronics and safety features like anti-lock brakes and standard driver and passenger side airbags. It has also adopted sleek, if extremely substantial, styling and the most famous of Cadillac names, Fleetwood. The carryover chassis has been fine-tuned for much improved control. The only powertrain remains a throttle body injected 5.7 liter V8 and four-speed automatic. Now a useful traction control system is also standard. Cadillac's newest powertrain, the 32-valve aluminum North Star 4.6 liter V8, makes its way into more not-so-traditional Cadillacs. After a successful debut in the Elante, the North Star is now standard in the front-drive STS four-door and the Touring Coupe version of the Eldorado. A new rear suspension is part of the engine package as well. From GM's biggest car, we turn to their biggest car division, Chevrolet. Chevrolet's Geo import brand gets the new year off to a strong start with an all-new prism. Made by Numi, the GM Toyota joint venture in California, it is similar but not the same as the new Toyota Corolla. The prism gets its own rounded styling and interior this year. The wheelbase has been stretched for enough interior room to now qualify as a compact. Power is provided by 1.6 and 1.8 liter Toyota engine and a GM Delco ABS system is an option. Changes for most Chevrolet badge cars, including the Corvette, are minor this time around. The Caprice, however, gets styling tweaks, including full rear wheel wells that reduce its bulbous look. As for a totally redesigned Chevrolet, watch this space for the all new plastic bodied six-speed Camaro due in January. The same goes for the new Pontiac Firebird. Both cars will get a slightly detuned version of the Corvette LT1 5.7 liter V8. The new Firebird should be just the thing to keep sales growing at a rejuvenated Pontiac. The Grand Am's growing list of drivers will notice less noise and vibration coming from quad four-cylinder engines. The Bonneville, also selling well, adds an SLE package that includes most of the visual stimulus of the supercharged SSEI. ABS and traction control are now standard on all Bonneville. Oldsmobile offers the most upscale version of GM's plastic APV minivan. APVs are known for the convenience of their individually removable seats. For 93, add a power sliding side door to that user-friendly list. The APV door system is loaded with safety features, and we even took it upon ourselves to make sure they work. The Chevy Lumina APV will also offer this feature. We also like features you can add to two Oldsmobile cars. Introduced last spring, the 88 Royale LLS and this Achieva SCX show how perfectly competent cars can become very exciting. The SCX gets a 185 horsepower quad four, a high torque clutch, a serious suspension, and our appreciation is the most fun we've had in an Oldsmobile in a long time. One more Olds item, the 3.4 liter twin cam V6 is now available in the Cutlass Supreme convertible. At Buick, changes are even more subtle. The Regal dons a new grille and rear fascia for 93. The popular Park Avenue has undergone an even harder to detect makeover. Inside this LeSabre, we spotted GM's new smaller airbag design. It makes a neater, cleaner fit inside the steering wheel. Keeping Saturn flying high is the job of their new station wagon. Its trim shape includes all the features of the sedan, including plastic body and a choice of four-cylinder engine. A new entry-level coupe features the front end of the sedan and looks delightfully aggressive. All Saturns get a standard airbag this year, and the revised automatic transmission can now be ordered with traction control. With truck sales rising faster than cars, both Chevrolet and GMC truck are taking steps to appeal to an even wider clientele. Full-size pickups get a wider use of GM's hard-working V8 turbo diesel. 
GMC Sport Utilities, on the other hand, get decked out more for play. The SLT Touring Package is now available on both two- and four-door jimmies, while the Yukon explores the sport truck market in dark GT trim. And when you take all of these cars and trucks together, things do indeed look very hopeful for General Motors in 1993.